Well, here I am in New York, wondering how Sophia Hopgood got mixed up with Nazi spies. The way looks blocked. Hold on! You must be the new doorman. About time they got rid of Biff. He was such a pushover. I need to talk to that so-called psychic. It's Madame Sophia to us employees, fella. Hey! You can't go out there! Take it easy and watch the show. Here, my friends, is Atlantis. As it might have appeared in its heyday. Glorious, prosperous, socially and technically advanced. Beyond our wildest dreams. 5,000 years ago, while everyone else still wore animal skins, the mighty spirits of Atlantis dared to build a city where knowledge and power were united in true happiness. Centuries later, the famous philosopher Plato wrote about it. He placed Atlantis on a continent out in the deep ocean and described how it was divided into three circular parts, such as you see here. Isn't she something? She can go on for hours. Hold on. She's just coming to the exciting part. What befell the serene city? We may never know for sure. Was it the sea level slowly creeping higher? Or the earth itself suddenly shifting? However it happened, panic must have gripped the citizens. On that fateful day when proud Atlantis sank beneath the waves. Or, perhaps it was a volcanic eruption and something remains even now. On some questions, the great spirit who guides my thoughts, the all-seeing Nurab Sal, is silent. I've been through this a hundred times. The woman never stops. Excuse me. Yeah, what now? Isn't there something you'd rather be doing? Like what? Show business is my whole life! Don't you have any hobbies? Sure, I read. But what if I give you something to read? I might take a look. Here. Well, well, the late edition. I wonder if the Dodgers won. Watch the lights while I find out, okay? There it goes. And I still feel the presence of Atlantis through... Uh... May I present Nurab Sal, the great Atlantean god of... Of... Deceit. Deceit. Thanks, Indy. Indiana Jones? You've got some nerve. 
Go back, you big jack-o'-lantern! Oh, great. Good night, folks. Come on, mister. I've got a few words to mince with you. I'd say it's about time. Oh, no! Looks like Kerner got here first. Stay put. No one here. Nor here either. Dr. Uberman. Fantastic news. We found the treasure we see. That's the second time Kerner slipped away. What does a Nazi spy want with old statues? Have you seen the newspaper? Listen to this. Germans claim victory in worldwide race to smash the uranium atom. Chief scientist Dr. Hans Ubermann announces plan to harness new sources of energy for the Third Reich. So? Practical results are years away. Of course they are. That's why they're looking for the power of Atlantis. Be serious. I used to think you'd make a good scientist. Yet you've been concealing important artifacts. Artifacts such as archaeology has never seen. Huh. You're lucky I don't have you arrested. So what if I kept a few pieces for myself? Look for a small coppery bead under those clippings in my desk. What do you know? Kerner missed the grand prize. What? My necklace. Watch closely. The bead is made of auric calcum, the mystery metal first mentioned by Plato. Now I'll place it in the medallion's mouth. Did you see that? Yeah, creepy. Is your electric bill paid up? That was Nurab Sal. His spirit is close. Don't try your psychic act on me. Suppose I gave this aura calcum business any credence, which I don't. We have no idea where to find your mythical lost city. Shh. I'm getting something. Nurab Sal speaks. He bids us find the... What? A, a book, yes. The Lost Dialogue of Plato. Another fine myth. If Plato wrote it, later authors would have reported it. What if the Nazis have already found a copy? You ever think of that? Hmm. You found this stuff in Iceland, right? Yes, near our old dig site. I thought so. Who's working there these days? Bjorn Heimdall, I believe. Maybe we should pay him a visit. What do you say? I thought you'd never ask.